I don't know what happened. We had the farrier here today, and I didn't get a picture. Darcy, you are making a disaster. You're so gross. <laughs> I think I made his food a little too wet. <laughs> Darcy and that is Jarvis and this is Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses and I'm Danielle so uh, I know most of you guys know who I am and know who they are but I have a couple new subscribers sent my since my last video so uh, hey guys how are ya um, thank you for subscribing I hope you come and visit and watch more of my channels um, I do a lot of blabbering <laughs> but sometimes I actually have some things that are going to be interesting. Um, like uh, this one, actually. This, this is a compilation of everything that's been going on for the past uh, month or so. I think, I think the Whirligig Festival was in November. <laughs> so, sorry. Um, but yeah, the Whirligig Festival. Um, and then I took the Tex I, Texas Taco. I think it's, I forget his number at the end. I know he's got a number, but I'll put a link to him. But the Texas Taco and I went to the Madison auction um, to waste some time while his wife went off on a motorcycle ride with my husband, which I believe is up on the Boomer Blade website or the YouTube channel, Boomer Blade. It's all about his motorcycle stuff and his adventures and stuff like that. Um, I'll probably put a link in the somewhere down there too in the description to that one, but they had a good time. Um, they came here and we cooked out. We had some steaks. It was right after Christmas, so um, it was a good time. So uh, yeah, so we did that and let's see, what else did we do? We um, went to the emergency room <laughs> right before Christmas. And um, yeah, I'm gonna be in this for a little while, so a lot of this is not going to get done. A lot of this, all of that, is not going to get done for quite a while. Um, unfortunately, I can't really do too, too much. So I'm just going to wing it. Um, right now, we just have a temporary fence in their temporary area. Um, but this is our, our huge barn that is in the process of being finalized. So Jarvis, don't you do it. Jarvis um, is a full-blood Percheron. He's in his late teens and is quite pushy sometimes. And Darcy is a uh, Gypsy Vanner. His mom was a Gypsy Vanner Standard Bread Cross, and his dad was a full-blood Percheron. So he's in his late 20s, and he's got Cushing's disease, and poor guy, he's, um, he's got some issues. But even he's got issues today. That leg right there, that one that he's holding up, I don't know what happened. We had the farrier here today, and I didn't get a picture. Darcy, you are making a disaster. You're so gross. <laughs> I think I made his food a little too wet. <laughs> but, um, so what happened was, is he, uh, sluiced off some of his foot a little bit too much. I'm going to have to get over there. Ah, ah, ah. No, sir. Good boy. Um, he sluiced off some of his, his foot. Come on, click underneath here. Oh, Darcy. Oh, don't get this on my hat. You're so yucky. <laughs> oh. It's just been so rainy here. And the poor guy, he's like covered in mud and covered in yuck. But I'm going to leave this alone because um, it's pretty warm out right now. And <laughs> I can hear him slurping. And uh, he's pretty dry up underneath this coat. So I'm just going to leave this the way it is. I'm not going to put a blanket on him. I'd only do that if it was cold and, and windy and it's not supposed to be like that. So, Because like he's all dry. A little sweaty actually underneath there. So he's hot. But uh, Mr. Big White and Fluffy here, um, he, he sluiced off a little bit too much on his foot. So he had right where his frog came to a point on the hoof, um, it was bleeding. 
It was really, really thin, and I'm thinking it was like really, really thin. And it's about the size of a nickel. And um, I ordered some hoof armor, and I'll put the link below. And um, see, he's pretty dry. Um, I put, I'll put the link up below to where I got it, right off of pretty much hoofarmor.com. And um, we're going to put that on him. So that's going to be my next video. It comes in another couple weeks, or a couple days, actually, because he, he shipped it out today. Like, I ordered it this afternoon, and he created a shipment of it today. So I was really impressed. Um, and it'll be here in two days because it's coming from Pennsylvania. So um, it'll be here, and I've never put it on before, but I talked to my farrier. And I said, what do you think about hoof armor? And he's like, oh, I love it. I absolutely love it because, but nobody knew about it around here. So they didn't ask for it. And, you know, of course it costs like 10 bucks to put on, I guess. I don't know. I didn't ask how much he'd charge for it because I'm going to do it. But, um, really? <laughs> he just scared Jarvis. I've got the phone sitting on his hip. See, it's his butt. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, so I'm going to put some hoof armor, so I'm going to do a video on that and my review on the process. So that'll be really, really kind of neat to watch. So watch that in the next couple, couple of days, and it um, should be interesting to see if I can do that um, without, because you have to use gloves, and I can't put a glove over my thumb, so this might be interesting. I might have my husband help me. But, um, so, yeah, um, so we had a great time. Um, Texas Taco and I went to the horse auction last week, last month, and then I went to the World Gig Festival, and um, that was in, I forget, Kingston? No, it's over by the coast somewhere, coast of North Carolina. Um, I forget where it's at. But we went, and it was a really good time, and I think I have, what else do I have? I got a whole bunch of little things in there, all kind of like mixed up all together. So I'll put a little compilation together and some pictures of of the little barbecue that we had with Texas Taco and his wife. Um, we had a good time. And, um, yeah. So, I'm not going to ramble. I'm already at six minutes of rambling, the beginning of this video. So, um, yeah. Enjoy. Sorry I haven't been online for a while. Um, we've had some crazy things going on. We've had some people visiting from out of town and today I figured I'd bring you guys. I'm out at the coast visiting some family and we're at the Whirl Gig Festival. So check this out. So basically what these are is um, a whirligig and you know the things that when the wind goes it makes a little the guy chopping wood and stuff like that um, and there was a, a guy here apparently um, that built them for the, the town or something like that and uh, when he passed away they made this huge park so they put it all in his name and these are all the types of whirligigs that he um, that he made he built so they have a festival here and there's a lot of vendors, there's food, they shut down the whole town and it's pretty cool. So I'll put some pictures in, I'll take a couple of videos and uh, that way you guys can enjoy the world of gigs. Super size. <laughs> have a great day guys, I'll talk to you later.
absolutely gorgeous 65 degrees probably going to be about 70 with the sun coming out um, and we've not done much um, unfortunately there's a lot of things that have happened between now and Christmas so Merry Christmas to everybody it's a little late and Happy New Year hopefully I'll have a couple videos out before New Year's right, but um, so a couple things have happened um, the main thing is the day before Christmas Eve maybe a couple days before Christmas Eve this happened so I have not been working with these guys I haven't done anything I haven't even been feeding them hold on a second there you go <laughs> you were dusty um, so I haven't been feeding them I haven't done anything with them um, basically my husband was wonderful and gave me a knife set for um, processing my own deer and it got stuck inside the sheath and as it came out um, yeah, they work really, really well. Um, I basically cut right through my tendon all the way down to the bone and uh, long story short, uh, I'm going to be like this for the next six to seven weeks. So, um, in the second, on the 7th of January, the stitches come out on the outside, but, uh, I had a wonderful doctor, um, and plastic surgeon, um, fix the tendon and reattach it. So hopefully it'll work. But uh, we'll see what happens. But so anyway, um, okay. yeah, I, I'm not going to be doing a lot with the boys. Um, we're not getting another horse for the, the winter. But I figured husband is taking a friend of ours out on her very first motorcycle ride. And her husband is staying with me. And today is the horse auction in Madison. So I need some horsey time. I can't do anything with my horses. So... I'm going to go to the auction and see what's up and see what's there and uh, hold on a second and away they go. Yeah. So she's off on, on her very first motorcycle ride so it should be interesting to see what happens and I get to be in the low rider and we're going to head out to Madison and see what's going on so why don't you come on with us and I'll try to take some videos while I'm there discreetly and um, yeah come on along with us Jesse's right there and I got to drive his, his cool awesome truck. There's a cute little half line right here. Tiny cute. Anyway, um, it's not really very busy. Uh, there's not a lot of people here. It's uh, 2 o'clock. They just started the horses. I can hear them in the auction house. 
and um, let's go down and take a, a look and see what's what's here and see if I can get you guys some pictures and some video. <laughs> Yeah, so here we're at the auction. They got a, this is usually a riding arena where you can go in and um, ride the horses and stuff like that as you're testing them out. But apparently they got a couple little goats and a cow in here today. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I thought that would be kind of funny to show you guys. We're, uh, they got some guineas up there that they've decided to add to their flock. And we're going to go into one of the other stables here. They've got two here, and then they've got the two over there, so um, let's go on in and see what we find. Happy New Year! It's a couple days after New Year, and I'm out here with Jarvis, who rolled just recently. It's been very rainy here the past couple days, and uh, as you can see, the fields are are mucky, and uh, it's just horses are mucky. <laughs> At least one side. The other side is okay. Wait, stand still. Stand still. Stand still. The other side's okay. <laughs> but um, he. I noticed today, while we were um, feeding, come on, come on, you don't have to go down there. <laughs> I noticed today while we were feeding that he had a little bit of poop sticking out of his bum and he didn't pass any gas. So he was passing gas last night and I'm gathering he's uh, a little impacted. So I'm trying to get him to poop. And the best way to get him to poop is to take him for a walk especially in an area where he's unfamiliar with, and then he'll poop right away. Or, worst case, I hook up the trailer and he'll always poop in the trailer. So, um, it's kind of rainy, dreary. It hasn't started raining again yet, but it will. And uh, I'm just gonna take him for a quick little walk. Come on, Jarvis, come on, let's go. And um, see if I can get him to poop. And uh, thankfully it's Saturday, so there's not a lot of people on the road and I can let him wander around and look and do whatever he needs to do to make sure he's comfortable. <laughs> As I get their morning buckets ready, this is their their whole food and area. As I get all this ready for tomorrow morning, um, I hope you enjoyed the little show and a little montage. Hopefully I won't be doing that again because that was just a mess. It was just trying to pull all that stuff from like two different phones and some of it's on the cloud, some of it's not. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you come back. This is a very abnormal video. so. Um, I have Eeyore here. Eeyore, say hi to everybody. Hey, say hi. There's Eeyore. And then Miss Lexi is right there. Hi, Miss Lexi. And then little Snowy over there. Say hi. Oh, hi. Hi, Nose. Yeah. And then Snowy's over there. <laughs> you want to be a superstar? <laughs> so anyway, um, from everybody here at um, Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses, they're out there eating their alfalfa. Um, have a great night and uh, don't forget to subscribe don't forget to ring the bell because now you actually have to choose all that weird stuff in order to be notified um, tell everybody else about me and what we're doing and we have big things coming because we just opened two new companies two here at the farm so 
a lot of things are going to go on from now on out. Keep an eye out for everything. Watch for that uh, hoof armor video. I promise I will get it up as soon as possible. And uh, we shall see you later. Right, Legs? Right? Yes. Mwah. Okay. Bye, guys.